Okay, two videos in one day. Now, I want to talk about this new talk show called The Sister Circle that comes on TV One. It comes on in the morning time. I can never watch it because I'm at work. So I DVR it. Um, the reason I even watched this show in the first place is because of Selena Johnson and Funky Dineva. And when I saw that they were going to be, I'm like, okay, okay, let me see what this is about. Um, so I started watching the show and I only know those two. I don't know the other women. Um, I think one of them, the one with the um, straight, short black hair that comes down to about her shoulders is Quad. I think that's her name. I forgot the one with the gap. The pretty one with the gap that's on the end, I like her. But I don't remember her name. I have to keep watching. I've only watched like two episodes. But so far, overall, I like it. Um, I think that that woman with the short hair, I don't know her name. I'm noticing like a trend with her, even though it's only been two episodes that I watched or three, two or three. She's, she says some problematic stuff when she's giving her opinion. One episode they talked about, um, they talked about, what was it? I'm trying to remember. They talked. Oh, the names. They talked about naming their children certain names so that they can get a leg up in the world. Because we all know when some people see black names on, on application, whatever type of application is, employment or school, they immediately toss it out. So um, she said that she named her children. With that in mind, she named her children Carter and Bailey. Both of her children are girls. She named them Carter and Bailey. And she was saying, the way she was saying it was like she was so proud. She was like, oh, Carter, oh, Bailey. I'm like, that's not cute. That's not cute. You named your children, you gave your children a name based on what other people would think. You didn't give your children names based on who they were. Like, and I like how Funky Dineva said that we can't, you know, further that agenda that black names are, if somebody has a black name, that means just that they are unprofessional. And that's not, that's not it at all. Some people can't hide their names. I heard one of the, um, co one of the co-hosts say that, um, they will use their middle name or something, but, um, yeah, we cannot, we cannot further that agenda that black names are unprofessional. And just because you give somebody a white name does not mean that they're going to be any more professional. And also, I don't see why she was so happy to name her children Carter and Bailey as if there are white people around here naming their children DeMarcus and Devante. Ain't nobody, ain't, ain't no white people doing that. So why are you giving your children names of other, other from other people's races? Why are you doing that? And something else she said... I think on the same episode, they were like, um, they should teach children. Oh, this was like the second episode, something like that. They should teach children, black children, black history at home because it's being omitted from the history books, which is something that I said in my first black talk video. But anyway, um, she said on, on the new episode that I just watched, it's not brand new, but I just watched it. She said that you know, eight-year-olds are taking a knee at a football game in protest to stand with uh, um, Colin Kaepernick. And then in the same breath, she's like, oh, I don't really know if they understand what they're doing. Like, no, no, no. How are you going to say that we need to teach black kids about black history, but when, when they try to stand with their people, you want to, like, say, oh, you're too young, you don't know nothing about that. That's problematic. It seems like, I'm like, is this going to be an ongoing cooning thing that she's doing? Is this going to be every episode? But as far as her, like, I pretty much like everybody else on the cast. I like that they include um, Quinn on a lot of the topics. And because he's very intellectual and he's funny. Um, I like Selena Johnson. I like the one on the end with the gap. I think she's so beautiful. And Quad. Um, I like her too. I like her, her personality and everything. And I think that this show is going to go 
I think it's gonna do well. Um, I just wish it would come on like a time where I can watch it. But I, it, I just keep DVR re recording it because I like it. So that's my thoughts. Y'all let me know what y'all think about um, the Sister Circle.